Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, I've shot several things today. I'm not sure how I wanted to approach this video because I have a lot to show you, but kind of don't want to do anything about it. So we're going to go with first things first. Yesterday, as you saw from my short, I went out for the first time riding on my new Meepo Voyager electric skateboard. So what you did see in the short was me with my elbow pads on, my knee pads and my helmet and everything. And I was, yeah, I mean, I wasn't really pushing any limits or anything, but I was, you know, motoring right along and I was in the parking lot next to the hospital. You know, I went up through speed level one and two and I might have dipped into three and it scared the shit out of me. So I put it back down to two. I think one goes up to six miles an hour and two goes up to 12. Three, I think goes up to maybe 20. I don't know, speed four goes up to 40. I thought it was 35 miles an hour. Why am I telling you all this? Well, I pretty much had the whole day and decided that, you know what, that was pretty fun. I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna go around the neighborhood. I'm just gonna get out of the parking lot. I'm gonna go around the neighborhood and see how I do on the roads. And I thought to myself, typical monkey fashion, that I was pretty comfortable after riding with, a, you know, earlier for like half an hour, 45 minutes, that, that I was comfortable enough that I could end up like just being chill about it and not really thinking that I was going to have a problem, meaning dumb monkey decided that he didn't need any safety gear. So I went out and I went through the neighborhood and they were all straightaways. Like the, the road is like straight all the way back you turn, it's straight all the way through there. I mean, a couple of simple little little curves in the road, but nothing crazy. Also, because I was on well-traveled roads, there weren't big cracks, there weren't tree branches, there weren't gigantic rocks and any of that kind of stuff. So I got a little too big for my bridges. That in itself wasn't the problem. The problem was is that I tried to switch speeds from speed setting two to speed setting three without stopping. So I was going 12 miles per hour when I pushed the button to go up to speed three, it took off and it threw me off balance. And I basically hopped off the board where my body was going 12 miles per hour, but my feet hitting the pavement weren't going 12 miles per hour. And I went ass over tea kettle and I hit hard. I am completely covered with road rash throughout my back. I, you know, cut my elbow open and I scraped the right side of my calf. Um, you know, from the pictures you can see here, uh, I hit it pretty hard. Now this was after it just happened. I'm not gonna take pictures again today because I'm not pulling all this shit off. So ended up going and getting bigger gauze things for, for the one that's a little like on my lower left love handle because that's the one that keeps sticking to my shirt and ripping off and it hurts like hell. So I learned my lesson the hard, dumb monkey way of always wear safety gear. Even if I don't wear the elbow pads and the knee pads, because I mean, I mean, I guess it might have stopped this because the pad would have come up here, but definitely not ever riding again without a helmet because I could have done some serious damage. It also just freaks me out to think that people are going 40 plus miles per hour on that freaking thing. Like you got to be out of your mind, which then also leads me to how watching like all of us, you know, for how many years, five years, watched Casey Neistat on his boosted board, which is essentially the same thing, riding on the streets of New York City with no safety gear whatsoever, but being on the streets of New York City with all those freaking cabs and trucks and people and bicyclists and out of your mind. Like I can't even begin to imagine, well, I can, I can imagine that it would never happen. I would never do that. I, you know, was using my Insta360 360 one inch super duper camera specifically for this reason, um, because I wanted to get used to holding a camera because I'm going to be riding that thing and filming. And I thought from the very start, when I get on that board, I'm going to be holding a camera so that right off the bat, I build the instinct of holding onto the camera whilst I'm skateboarding along. I wasn't ready to take my more expensive setups Although that Insta360 technically is probably more expensive than the ZV-E10 by itself, but with the lens and everything, yeah, no way. I wasn't gonna do that. I wasn't comfortable enough to take a, a bigger camera like that out. The 360 was fine. So in this footage where I think Zeus was filming because I got a, like I was laugh crying when I was watching this footage last night. I mean, ask my wife. She's like, dude, you're freaking insane. I watched that video segment 
so many times and I kept reframing the angles so that I got different perspectives of me hitting the pavement. <laughs> I was literally crying. I was laughing so hard and she's like, dude, you got problems. I got the footage yesterday and I, apparently I don't understand keyframing, at least on the desktop portion because none of it worked and I thought that I framed it and, and exported it and nothing came over. But today, after watching a couple of videos on how to do that online, I ended up just using my phone. I used the app on my phone and it was so simple that, that now I kind of know what I'm doing when it comes to keyframing and all that shit. I made this little video clip for your enjoyment. Now, I kept saying to myself and to my wife that I thought that it, like if I did it in slow motion, that it would sound an awful lot like a, a Pink Panther movie, like Clouseau and Cato fighting. I may have done a little bit with the audio too. So I'll play it once in its entirety. You know, it's only like 15 seconds with the inherent built-in audio. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of slow-mo for you, just for the hilarity of it all. And yes, this hurts like hell. Eh, it doesn't hurt like hell. It stings an awful lot. It's a lot better now that I have the gauze on my on my love handle so that it isn't constantly pulling and sticking to my shirt. But uh, lesson learned. And in the grand scheme of things, not that hard of a lesson, but hard enough to make me learn the lesson. So check this out. Okay, wasn't that hilarious? That all aside, I'm just not like I'm afraid to get back on that board. I'm just gonna be a lot smarter about it and, and it is a blast and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. And I'll probably take it on the road with me too so that I can skate around all the places that I go, uh, which will allow me to cover a hell of a lot more ground than it would if I were just walking and driving all over the place trying to find some place. So yay for Meepo and the Voyager that I got and for learning a hard lesson about not wearing safety gear. That being said, that's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. Let me know what you think of uh, me hitting the pavement. I thought it was hilarious. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up. Stay off the pavement.